Here we go, Polly. This is all the stuff you can hear on Todd's Bag of the Day Cafe. Oh, yeah. I love it. Hopefully another week, Polly. We're getting all the T-shirts printed, and, you know, it takes time. It does. It takes so, a little bit of time. Right. But In the meantime, we're going to drink and talk about wine. We are. It's um, Denver Wine Radio. And, um, hey, a little bit of information for you, by the way. You can download our app at the App Store. And this would be the uh, music version. Just search Denver Wine Radio, and you can listen to the music version of Denver Wine Radio. Right on. That would just be in the regular, uh, you know, the iPhone app store, but uh, uh, Android coming soon. And then, uh, but if you want to hear uh, uh, the podcast, you can uh, download in, that in uh, Apple Podcasts or in Google Play. Okay. Awesome. So, Great. Yeah, cool. Denver Wine Radio. Hey, uh, we're here with the 2018 Winery of the Year, Creekside Cellars, as uh, mm-hmm. distinguished by uh, Colorado Association for Viticulture and Enology. Also, I uh, forgot to mention, uh, Creekside Cellars, you won the 2017 Governor's Cup yes, with we your did. Cabernet Franc. Wow, <laughs> nice. So, yeah, second time, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, that's right. Yeah. So the Governor's Cup is a, uh, uh, a competition we do here in the state. Um, where all the Colorado, it's open to all the Colorado wineries. Enter your wines. Uh, they bring in some judges from uh, all over the country, and, um, and it's pretty pretty stringent judging. They're not it's they're not cut, yeah. yeah they're not cutting us any slack. And um, right on. There yeah. you go. So you guys were talking earlier about music uh, yeah. when you're making wine. So mm-hmm. you guys have a certain playlist you play, or a certain type of music that the grapes like, <laughs> or you play like classical because it's like. You know, it depends on the day. Okay. Depends on the day. But yeah, I mean, Paul, what do you, I mean, some days I like to play Sarah Brightman. Some days I like to play New Order. I mean, what do you like to play? Well, do you set the speakers the to time. the grapes or what, what do you do? Yeah, well, well you know, we talk, just, we talk to them, you, you know. To, yeah, you got, the grapes got to be <laughs> happy, <laughs> you know. Right. <laughs> they were happy on the vine. And, <laughs> right. And now they have to make it to the winery. So we want to keep them happy once they get there. And, um, but you know, uh, it, it, it's typically old school rap at uh, when I'm in there by myself. Like okay. what? Like, like LL? Like who? Oh yeah, I mean I've got this Pandora station. Yeah. I, Don't called, you love Pandora? <laughs> I love it. It's um, <laughs> um, um, it's uh, it's Return of the Mac Radio. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so and they play so, some great jams. And it, yeah, they do. And it took a while. I've had it for years, so we've you know we've thumbs down uh, a bunch of songs. But yeah, right. that's that's what comes up. Um, uh, you know. It's, yeah, gin and juice. You know, right, there's a lot of Snoop right. Dogg in there. Yeah, <laughs> a and lot it just, of Dr. Dre. <laughs> it just gives the grapes that you know chill kind of vibe. Yeah, see, I have to give them a North Side kind of vibe. There you go. All right, <laughs> absolutely. Because that's where we're at. Absolutely. So, Make them feel at home. Uh huh. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, Michelle's got to give them like that mountain feel, or, right. or the yeah, I don't right. know what you call the evergreen scene. Right. <laughs> kind of, yeah, Colorado Mountain kind of. Colorado Rocky Mountain high field. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. And your grapes all happy, and that's why these terrific wines yeah. are made. We got we to gotta make we gotta make everybody mm-hmm. happy. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, and here's another way to get happy is to uh, head out to Grand Valley, you know, the Palisade area yep. in Colorado, named uh, uh, one of the top 10 wine destinations wow. in the world. In the world. Not in the, the country, world? in the world, in yeah. the world, folks. Wow. So if you have not been there, take a weekend, go. And you might want to go in September when we have the Colorado Mountain Wine Fest, which was rated the number one wine fest in the country nice. as well. Nice. Yeah. Both of this these were in number, wine enthusiast. Yes. This is big. Wow. This is a big deal, folks. And the- And not only that. Guess who we have in our state that works for the Colorado Wine Industry Development Board? I don't know who. We have Kyle Schlachter. Yeah, who made Kyle. Wine enthusiast forty under forty. So, folks, Colorado, we are making some ground here, folks. That's we're awesome. Not, cool. We're yeah. not messing around. So, yeah. enjoy some Colorado wine. We actually know what we're doing, believe it or not. Well, you do know what you're doing because I, like I said, I don't drink, and I would drink. All of these bottles. Well, not all. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Wine oh, just spilled no. in the studio. It's horrible. Oh, no. Pandemonium. Pandemonium. You know what that just reminded me of, Paul? What? That reminded me of the time we weren't supposed to have any beverages in our studio. Now you know why. At the original Jammin'. Yeah. And uh, Cha's Pepsi spilled on the board. Oh, my God. And they had to put us in another room for like three days while the engineers took <laughs> Q-tips 
and uh, the engineers took Q-tips and uh, had to go through every part of that board oh my God. to clean it out. It's a miracle I wasn't fired. <laughs> Seriously. And I am so sorry, Michelle. I just spilt all wine good. all in her direction. You did, but it didn't get on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm a spiller. I'm a dropper. It's all right. We can, uh, re- we can refill no, that glass. But it's, We've it's, got four bottles here. Don't it, worry. It's wasted wine. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Paul, could you put that in her write-up, please? Yeah, 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 pa- yeah. Paul and I are going to have a write-up. <laughs> a we, we have a programming meeting after the show of my tardiness, <laughs> and now I spilt wine all over the council. Mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. it didn't get in any equipment or anything like that, so yeah, we're all we're, cool. We're still on the air, so it couldn't have been yeah, that bad. It's no, not that bad. It's not that bad. Right. So I apologize. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy time. Well, that sounds like a a, a fun uh, festival to go to. It's I, a great festival. It's, my, it's amazing. My niece down in New Mexico absolutely loves all kinds of wine, so you just gave me an idea. We're going to yep. be going to that festival. Book your Book, book now? your uh, reservations now. Okay, I'm sure hotels are full already. That's oh, how okay. that's how popular it is. Okay. Yeah, yep. you can go to uh, winecolorado.org. Org. That's yep. that's okay. the Cave website, and then you can also go to coloradowine.com, mm-hmm. which is the state-run uh, website, which lists all the wineries in Colorado and places to visit. Uh, there's plenty of wineries here along the Front Range. And, you know, there's um, actually more wineries on the Front Range now than on the West Slope, Paul. Yeah, we crossed that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we crossed that line a couple of years ago. Yep. And um, like, yeah, where are they growing them out here? Well, out here, there's not so much, not so much growing grapes here, but uh, a lot of manufacturing. Oh, okay. So wineries okay. in general. Okay. And, um, mm-hmm. There's about 140 ish wineries in Colorado, mm-hmm. and uh, cider cideries are included in that number, right? Because uh, a cider is fermented apple juice, right? So it's uh, made under a, a winery license, which right. is fermented. Oh, fruit. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, so they're all over the place. So you can you can check it out, make a day of it. And uh, that taste some like great fun. Colorado product. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm gassing up the RV. <laughs> Do it. I'm gassing up the RV. Yeah. If you've got an RV, take the RV. Yep. You want to go, Clark? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Clark. So, All right. Well, we've had a great day of um, of tasting Cabernet Franc. Um, Colorado's Cabernet. Colorado's Cabernet. So, um, and you're welcome to. Uh, um, Sorry, I'm getting a phone call, but it's not official. Um, <laughs> um, you're welcome to let us know, to, you know, anything anything you've tasted, Cabernet Franc uh, or other Colorado. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, Reach out to us. us. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can hit us on Twitter at Denver Wine Radio. Um, Chaw's at Chaw Woman. You can find us all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Michelle, you're at, uh, at MC Winemaker. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, we'd love to know your opinion uh, of Colorado wine you've tried and uh, stuff you're you're looking forward to trying. So. Yeah. Please tweet us, Instagram us, Facebook us. <laughs> We'd love to hear what you think about Colorado <laughs> wine. We're trying to change people's minds. Absolutely. And they need to be changed because this is some good stuff right here. This bottle right here, mic drop. All right. Mic drop. Mic drop. Really okay. good. All right. All of them are good. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. You don't need, I, I don't need, next next week I'm, I don't know. I'm no, you're, you're, you're not showing up next no, week? Is that what you're no, saying? You're, you and Polly, you got the new show now. <laughs> no, you're coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving at 1030 from th- and so I can get here in time. Heck yeah, pick me up some chubbies or something on the way. Or I'm going to sleep on your couch and come in with you. Yeah, maybe we should take, uh, maybe we should taste, we do a little wine and chubbies tasting. Right. Ooh. I'm hearing some PYT in the background here. Yeah. Man, I noticed that driving in, there was uh, Santiago's. I thought, hmm, there's got to be a good wine for that. Absolutely. Yeah. What would it be? Um, Think about it. Yeah. What would you serve with, like, a uh, Mexican, Mexican food? Mexican uh, Riesling. Yeah. Riesling mm-hmm. works. Mm-hmm. Uh, to offset the spice. Yeah. Okay. Some of those big, jammy uh, reds work, too. Okay. To help uh, cool the heat if you're, like, in the hot chili. Right on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not only for Mexican food. You could have it with Indian food. You could have it with Absolutely. any kind of spicy food. Yep. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's yeah. Michael in the background, right? Can you hear him? I, I can, can hear him. Oh, I can hardly wait till I, I launch back in the day cafe. I'm going to play what I want when I want. Nobody's going to tell me what I can't play or threaten to fire me, Polly. That's but right. What he, but the question- 35 years I've been threatened. You're not supposed to play that song. <laughs> what we you have gonna, to what, have a meeting. But what are you going to be drinking? Oh, Colorado wine. Not a girl. All right. Thanks for listening this week. Your job is to put some altitude in your glass. 
That's right. Yeah, and I drink some that. drink local. Drink some Colorado wine. Raise a local gra- glass, folks. Do right. it. Thanks Keep for it. thanks so much for listening this week, and uh, join us next week at noon. Denver Wine Radio with Cha Cha. And we'll have a new guest next week, too. But thank you, uh, Michelle, for being here today. Thanks for having me on. Loved it. Yeah, this is Mile High Sports.